my Instagram live, I put a poll up to see which vehicle you guys wanted to see me do a review on next. And the majority of you chose the 2016 Hyundai Elantra. It's all licensed. Let's take her for a drive. What don't you see there? That's right. So first of all, I will thank all you guys for replying to my Instagram post on which vehicle we should review next. And for choosing the car, the only car on my lot presently that does not have air conditioning. Yeah, it's 80 degrees outside. About 110 in here with the windows up. Let's go for a drive. So because this vehicle has a manual transmission, I need both hands to drive. Unlike Send It Steve or Street Speed 717, I don't do very well shifting with my left hand and holding the camera at the other. I'm not that vain. I mean, yes, I am, but not when it comes to driving. First thing I gotta do is put this seat down. Height adjustment. So we are gonna go for a little cruise first. So I do apologize now for a little bit of wind noise. First thing I noticed about this car is the shifting is very smooth and the clutch, there's lots of room there for you to uh, manipulate the clutch without having to uh, learn how to drive a manual all over again. Now some cars, the clutch is like right there as soon as you lift off that pedal, others you can come out a little bit. This one seems to be adjusted just perfect. Now these 2016 Hyundai Elantra L's generally come equipped um, with a few options that most cars don't in a base model. It does have power windows and locks. This particular one, I said particular again, I don't know why I use particular all the time. This model has aftermarket cruise control. So you do have the option of cruise control in this car as well. And the previous owner has installed a remote start. So some may ask, how does a remote start work in a manual transmission? How is it going to know? Well, there's a setup procedure that you do. It's very simple, and once you learn it, it comes second nature to set it up. Now, the four-cylinder engine in this car is no slouch. It does work really well and has all kinds of power for daily commuting. With just 72,000 kilometers on it, it still has plenty of factory warranty, which would be the balance of a five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty through Hyundai. Now, keep in mind, our shop out back, although we can't do your factory warranty work, we can still sell extended warranty and do your regular maintenance on this car. So we are about to pull back into the shop and we will do, we'll do a little more extensive inside and outside look at this 2016 Elantra. All right guys, I've already introduced it, but here it is, one more time. Our 2016 Hyundai Elantra. One of them being the aftermarket wheels. Now, I don't believe these are even aftermarket, but the fact that they're aluminum, they look like they come off of some late 90s, early 2000s model Pontiac. 
couple of the things that we did to this was we've got four brand new all season tires as well as new pads and rotors front and back and although this is a base model it still has remote control rear view mirrors power locks and power windows and although it does not have a remote control that comes with this car it does have power locking for all four doors when you want to unlock the door you turn it once for the driver's side door and the second time and it will unlock all four doors and there's a good look at the aftermarket cruise control system which works just like any other cruise control as you saw early in the video it does have manual height adjustment on the seat for tall guys like me and for those who are vertically challenged you can pump that seat up a little bit taller standard issue in most cars today you've got a map pocket in the doors as well as a cup holder you've also got a couple of cup holders in the middle and some storage in the armor you've got lots of storage in the glove box as well as a 12 volt power outlet here on the side and another one with USB and auxiliary plug-ins in the console. Although this is just a base model, it still has AM and FM radio and CD player. And the only downfall to that is no prime country. So this is the best that I can get you for a view of the trip computer. So as you see, it has a trip A and a trip B. It also has distance to empty, average, miles per gallon or liters per 100 kilometers, average speed, time, and back to normal where you can select your eco mode on or off. It also has selectable steering modes, so you've got normal, sport, and comfort. As in any Hyundai Elantra, the seats are very comfortable, and in this particular vehicle, let me hit particular again, and in this vehicle, it's a fairly clean car. One of the things that I wanted to be able to do and show off about our cars in these reviews is not just give you all the positives about the car, but also give you some of the quirks that certain vehicles may have. And there is a couple on this car that I wanna point out to you. We feel we have it priced accordingly based on some of these differences. So one thing you've already noticed is the check engine light. Although the check engine light is only on for emissions, there is factory warranty on this car, and we will be making an appointment to get this to the dealer and have that looked after. It has a few scratches on the inside of the dash. I believe that this front bumper cover has been painted once before. Has this car been into an accident? I haven't verified that yet. Generally speaking, we don't buy cars that are in major accidents because the biggest reason, we can't finance them, it makes them a little bit harder to sell. This front bumper has a small little mark in it right there, as well as a little bit of overspray on that trim. And if we come to the back of the car, you'll see there's a small dent right on this little crease right here. Now, normally we would sell this vehicle at $99.95. You got that right. This is a 2016 with 72,000 kilometers on it, and we're selling it for under 10 grand. But if you mentioned you saw this car in my video, I'm going to knock $1,000 off the price of the car. So you could buy this car for $89.95 and still be able to drive it away financed and with the four brand new tires and brakes all the way around. So this is going to conclude this Reviews Day Tuesday on our 2016 Hyundai Elantra. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, don't forget, if you come in and you say you saw this car on this video, I'm going to give you a grand off the price. So thanks for watching guys. Remember, always focus on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next upload.